What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another installment of Ring Trench Garage. Today was back on the Z again. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of the parts have come in, and uh, what we're going to start off with is the rear brakes. There's a couple of things that I've done to, that I've done over the uh, past week to help with your viewing pl pleasure. First thing we've done is I got myself a small tripod. It's pretty cool. Fits everywhere. So hopefully my angles and shots will be just a little bit better. Um, I've also invested in some lights and uh, a couple other things that will help with, uh, with the viewing here. I know there's a lot of little sketchy areas in some of my other videos, but don't worry, it gets better from here. So without further ado, um, today we're going to work on the rear brakes on the Z and uh, we're going to start getting the suspension put back together. Then after that, uh, we're going to be working on getting rid of the miss in the engine. Hopefully a tune-up will take care of that. Uh, for in, in if not, then further diagnosis, and we will get this thing running. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Thanks so much. Enjoy the show. All right, guys, so starting on these rear brakes, you can see that there is a, uh, a lot of stuff going on here. It's pretty disgusting. You got uh, leaves and spider webs and stuff. But the actual calipers don't look like they're in bad shape. The bushings aren't, the little uh, rubber pieces aren't really destroyed. It just looks like a little bit of superficial rust. Um, same thing with the rotors. However, when it comes to like rotors and pads, uh, I, 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 I feel way more comfortable just replacing them. Uh, these kind of things are what your life depends on. This and the steering, very important components of the vehicle to make sure that you're safe uh, be, where you can safe stoply uh, excuse me stop safely and uh, also steer so that you can avoid objects so those two things to me are extremely important uh, especially if you're doing a car that you're going to be selling you don't want to sell somebody something dangerous so that's not so, so I'm making sure that I'm going to go ahead and replace these um, and I'm going to replace the pads as well um, the good news is is that we got some pads that were actually in the car. You can see the box is really faded. But while I was rummaging through the car, while I was rummaging through the car, I found a new set of rear pads. It looks like somebody was uh, on the way to doing this. It looks like they were on the way to doing a lot of things to get this car in uh, top shape. So that saved me a lot of money. Um, because this is because this kind of just looks ratty, um, I'm going to go ahead and wire brush everything off. And, um, I bought this wire brush from, from the uh, parts store. It was like four bucks. I know you can get them cheaper, but that's where I was, so that's what I did. So I bought a new wire brush, and uh, we're just going to wire brush this thing out, uh, get all the uh, top corrosion off of it. And then I'm using some duple color caliper paint. I just had it sitting on my shelf, so I decided to go ahead and uh, paint these. Uh, I got a little piece of cardboard so that all the paint doesn't splash everywhere, so I can just set it behind and paint. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start that, and uh, I'll show you the result. All right. All right, guys. After uh, doing a little wire brushing, you can actually see how much stuff actually came out of there. Came from all back behind. But that's way better than before. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slap some paint on here. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint the other side as well. And then uh, we'll start taking the calipers off and the brackets off. We're going to inspect the calipers, which I think they're going to be fine. We're going to take the calipers off. We're going to inspect them. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and change the rotors and the pads. And uh, we should be done with, uh, with, the, with, with, the, uh, with the rear brakes. All right, guys. So this is uh, the result so far. And what I got just on painting the caliper looks way, way better. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get the other side. I'm going to throw a fan on this thing and crank up some jams and I'm going to start uh, and uh, finish up the other side. I'm um, going to come back here and then we're going to start taking off the uh, we're gonna start taking off the rotors and uh, replacing the pads. And uh, yeah, going good. All right, guys. Uh, the fan that you hear in the background is helping me dry the paint. I uh, put two coats on there. The other side, I went ahead and wire brushed, and also uh, used uh, some um, some brake cleaner on there. They get all the dust and stuff off of there, so the paint sticks. So 
so that's what we're doing uh, did it on both sides and uh, so now uh, while that's drying I'm gonna go through all the parts for the for the uh, break for the brakes and show you what we got going on so here see that old box of the new brake pads that came in the car which I'm still really excited about I don't want to keep you in wobble vision here so I'm just gonna go new pads we're gonna stick two over here and we're gonna put we'll just put all of them here for now that way we can go through and get the ones that match on here and then the other two we know are gonna match on the other side so here we have new rotors and um, when they come from when they come out of the box they have this uh, a light film of, uh, of uh, anti-corrosion stuff on there and you're gonna want to uh, use some uh, br some brake cleaner you're gonna want to use brake cleaner and wipe those off as soon as they come out I'm just using the uh, regular store brand stuff so yeah uh, just wipe them off real good get a rag clean them off and before you install them that way um, you don't have that uh, that anti-corrosion slick stuff on there uh, 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 preventing you you know hindering your stopping ability so um, once this is dry we'll go ahead and start uh, disassembling and taking this off all right guys it looks like this thing's uh, just dry enough um, so we're gonna go ahead and start um, taking these, uh, taking the caliper off, and then we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, if, I, I don't know if there's a. Yeah, there's actually a, uh, a, a, a retaining bracket on here as well. So we're gonna take this off. This is a 14 millimeter wrench. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. With brute force, lots and lots of brute force. Take this off here. Under here, this is where the e-brake connects. Let's see if I can get a nice shot of that. Under here, you can see the connection for, that, for the e-brake right in there, holding on. So we're not going to worry about that. We're just trying to get to the pads and uh, change this rotor out. So make sure when you do these rear brakes, make sure when you do these rear brakes that um the e-brake is off because it will hold this thing on and you'll never get it off. Got the little clips here. Um, we're gonna clean those up. We're gonna clean these clips up and and uh, put them back on because they didn't provide me with any new ones. You should. I mean, you could get new ones which is not a bad idea, but for what I'm doing, I'm just gonna clean those up. They still look like they retain pretty well, as you can see, because they held it on so good. So we'll do that. Kidding. All right, so right here, we have, right here we have this bolt. It is, I can almost bet it's gonna be a 17 millimeter. All right, so yeah, these are actually a 17 millimeter. And we're gonna break these loose so we can take so we can take the retaining bracket off. 
17. 17. It's Persuader. Hey, look, these are Pittsburgh ratcheting wrenches. And I'm telling you, for the price, I've been beating on these things and beating the hell out of these things. These Pittsburgh ratcheting wrenches are not that bad. Get the full chrome ones. They're pretty good. Um, I haven't had an issue with them. Been using them for a good amount of time. So, not to say cheap out on your tools or nothing, but man, I'm telling you. Sometimes you can just take a chance on something a little cheaper. And these Pittsburgh ones from Harbor Freight work fine for me. You see, I just beat the crap out of it with a hammer. And it's getting the job done. So I have no complaints. Alright, so now the rotor is ready to come off. Two 17 millimeter bolts, six bracket. And this is awesome that this rotor slide brought off, which tells me it's probably been replaced before. But I'm not taking any chances. These are brakes. And as I've said before, these things. <coughs> You don't want to screw around with your brakes. So um, it's a little dirty in here. I'm gonna wire brush this stuff out. Um, the uh, bearing sounds relatively smooth. I don't hear any noise coming from it, no clunking, nothing like that. So good deal. Let's keep moving. Now I'm looking inside this thing. Not to put you back in wobbly vision, but just to show you, there's a rubber piece right there. There's a rubber piece right in here. And it's actually in pretty good shape. There's a little nick there, but it's not torn. So I'm I'm pretty confident, very confident in this caliper. Now I'm gonna have to wind this back before I put the new pads on, but um, I'll show you that in a sec. What you do to back this thing, there's this little tool that you can get from any store, right? And what you do is you can put it on the end of a ratchet, and then you put it on here, where you can get it to attach. There's, you see there's different knobs for different things. And so you get the one that actually fits, and then you can actually use a ratchet to wind it in or out. Now normally I'd like to put it on here and uh, bolt it in, but I'd have to put the bracket on and that's actually getting painted right now. So it's drying, so I can't do that right this second. But I'm gonna try to do it by hand. If it doesn't, and there you go. You can see it spinning. So you can wind this back in with this little tool right here. Some people might use channel locks or vice grips or something but I'm gonna use this tool here and then when it stops turning you wound it in as far as it can go and then you can fit in your new pads but this is let's see if I get a good shot here but it's it's actually helping me out a little bit <laughs> I've seen these things get stuck real stuck there you go. This is wound back in. You can see it actually pulling back in. And that ought to do it right there. That should be enough. All right, guys, real quick, I just wanted to show you this. Um, here's the, uh, the caliper bracket, the retaining bracket for everything. I did put a little bit of paint on there. I know it's not quite dry and it's probably gonna get a little messy, but it's not to be perfect. It's just to show that uh, somebody actually cared a little bit about this car, you know, to throw some paint on here. But these little pins right here, right? There's these little pins, they're slider pins. And whenever you do a job, especially something that's been sitting for a while, what you wanna do is take this pin out and you wanna grease this whole thing. Like, I'm gonna show you. I got some grease right here, right? Just some random grease. And uh, don't be scared of it. Put some grease on this fucking thing. Excuse me, sorry, my language. Put some grease on this thing. And uh, 
This, the grease on these pins actually allows the slider to work a lot better because that the, the actuation, the gripping force of, uh, of the uh, caliper itself depends on it being able to slide on these uh, little on these little pins here. So sometimes you'll have uneven uh, brake wear, uneven pad wear, stuff like that. When you have that going on, a lot of times your slider pins just need to be greased. A lot of times it's just the slider pin that needs to be greased. And uh, if you do that on both sides, a lot of times it fixes a lot of those issues from your um, from your pads uh, wearing uneven. So that's just a little tip here, and they snap in and out. So we're gonna just do both of these here. All right, guys. So I've cleaned off. All right, guys. So I've cleaned off the uh, the brake rotor, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and install this thing. All right. So there. It looks like it's rubbing against this back piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna straighten that out. So after bending that back in the dust, the dust shield back into shape, and uh, we should have plenty of room for our, for this now. Yep, no scraping, no moving. We're good to go. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, put on our bracket. This is the bottom 17 millimeter bolt for the bracket. Took me a little while to get everything uh, kind of finagled into place, but it wasn't that bad. Just brakes. Anybody who's done brakes knows brakes. Sometimes you get them good. Sometimes you get a little difficult ones, but so far so good. Gotta make sure this is on nice and tight. Just a few teeny taps. No one overdo it. Just a few teeny taps to get this thing on nice and tight. So there. We're gonna stick our caliper on. Right after we put our pads in and clean up. We're gonna clean up our little brackets here too. So sit back okay so now that we got our little brackets all nice and cleaned up I just used a little bit of a brake cleaner um, you can also use uh, like paint thinner um, anything that removes grease real good you can use it for all that stuff and uh, get it done if you don't have any uh, brake parts cleaner um, but anyway we're gonna go ahead and stick these back in where they belong so we got the little clips adjusted and it holds in the place um, the next thing we know, we're going to start putting in our pads. And uh, with the pads, you want to grab yourself a little glove here. I always keep a box. I try to keep a box of them around. So, grab a little glove here. get this grease on the pad don't get it do not put grease on the front you can put a little bit on the back to help with brake noise all right a little bit on the back and a little little bit on the back a little bit in these corners right here all right so this pad is finally in it took me a little while because uh this bracket up here needed some adjustment and it wouldn't let it go in and it wouldn't work right but I got it all adjusted and it works fine now so uh, time to get the back one in the rear one is the one that has this little tab on it so we're gonna go ahead and stick that in same procedure gloved hand little grease little grease little grease here here and here you don't have to do it, but I do it. And then uh, the next move is to go ahead and stick it on. All right, guys, with about five minutes of struggling, 
because uh, these brackets did need more adjusting than I thought. Um, it's in the brackets are holding just what just the way they're supposed to after just a little bit of adjustment. That's why it's good to get new ones, like I said before. Um, we can go ahead and stick the caliper back on now. So with everything done there, you just tie your caliper back on. Make sure your pins right here, you can just push those in. And then it'll pretty much just slide right on. Here we go. So, there you have it. Nice clean brake job. Um, everything's on, everything's good. Uh, I'm just gonna do the other side. There's no need to uh, explain this all over again. Same thing. So just to, yeah, this is what we got. Not too shabby, looks nice and clean.